team you can trust. This is News 8 at Sunrise. And good morning at 6.30 here on News 8 at Sunrise. A life-threatening storm surge has begun as Hurricane Florence reaches the Carolina coast. Florence now a Category 1 hurricane. This is a live video out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. The outer bands of the slow-moving storm brought a surge of water inland last night. It's already knocked out power to thousands throughout the region. Millions of people may be left without electricity, and it could be weeks before it's all fully restored. But it's the flooding that is expected to cause big problems over the next few days. Meteorologist Josh Nichols tracking this very closely for us. He joins us now with the latest. Where exactly is the storm at this point, Josh? It's just making landfall right now in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, the center of circulation just about to go right over Wilmington, and I can confirm that they just recorded a gust to 90 one miles per hour just moments ago and this is just the very beginning of what will be a long haul for North and South Carolina. Look at these bands of rain that are coming ashore right now. The Iowa again just uh, moving through now but there's many many more bands coming at, and these are going to set up much like Hurricane Harvey I think and that is going to be a devastating situation unfortunately for the coast of Carolina and inland too because not only the storm surge flooding to deal with on the coast but we also have the freshwater flooding. Top winds right now, uh, the latest hourly gust, Wilmington, 76 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour in Jacksonville. Check out the potential for storm surge here. Anywhere you see in red, nine foot storm surge that goes from uh, down the coast all the way to Myrtle Beach and beyond to Charleston and possibly even Savannah. So that's uh, that's a, that's a big deal. And as far as the rainfall forecast is concerned, that's a huge problem. We're going to be setting records for the states of North Carolina and South Carolina with 25 to 35 inches or more of rainfall between now and Wednesday. So we've just begun here with this uh, onslaught of what will be a catastrophic flooding for some. Much more on the storm, and we'll let you know if it'll have impacts on our weather in my eight-day forecast in just a bit. Guys, back to you. All right, Josh. Uh, thank you. Well, we've.